We came to Wellingborough in 2004 and standing in a marketplace with Robert and Sandra Wilson, one day we, I looked up at um, a building and it was right in the center of town and the presence of the Lord came on me and I prophesied and said that we're going to have a church right there um, in, in that building or in that, in that area. We pointed and all three of us felt the presence of God. Um, and then I forgot about those words that were spoken. Uh, then in, uh, in 2010, I was visiting my printer one day and uh, asking him about empty properties in Wellingborough, completely forgot the, the prophecy that w had gone out. And, um, and, I, and he, said, uh, he said, I know where there's a property that you could go. And, and he said, it, it's right in the center of town. And he, he described the location and I said, hold on a second. That's where we prophesied. So, I left the printer's office and went across the road and, and there was the, the to let sign, uh, the lease available and, and we thought, oh man, we've got to go for this. 2000 and, and uh, the end of 2010, 2011, we saw some financial pressures hit us and we were not able to do it and I went sunk into a real deep depression. But just before we gave up, we went to the building and, and, and we prayed. And we said, God, if this building is ours, let no one take it. It's, we, it's, it's, we, we claim it in Jesus' name. We oiled the doors and we spoke prophetically over it. We walked away and then gave up the chase for the building. I was shocked to find that um, two years later, the building was still empty. No one had been able to go in. Um, and uh, we began making our approach uh, again around about six months ago for the building. Um, we really, you know, felt a lot better about going for it at this time. We, we seemed like we'd grown a bit more as numbers and the plan had come together a lot better. And I think we were in a better position to take the building. Um, I, I just want to let you know, the testimony um, kind of begins today. I'm holding, we just came back from the solicitor's office and um, the keys to the building. We, 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 we have taken possession of that building, the very building that we prophesied back in 2000 and four or so, um, I'm holding the keys in my hand. It's ours. God has done it for us. It's an incredible miracle. God has done it every step of the way. I can't even tell you the m number of things that God did. He provided financially. He opened doors. He's given us favor where we shouldn't have had any. I mean, to be really honest with you, by rights, by natural rights, I shouldn't be holding these keys in my hand. I just want to encourage someone today that whatever you may be believe in God for, don't give up now. You know, it's always, the devil will always try and make you want to give up, but I want to encourage you, don't give up, because I'll tell you something, somehow, by faith, we didn't give up. I don't even know how, but now I'm holding these keys in my hands, and if I can hold these keys in my hands, then I'm telling you, you can hold the keys for whatever it is you need from the Lord, whatever it's healing, miraculous provision, finances, whatever it is, children, whatever it is, bank account, uh, but debts paid, whatever it might be. If I'm holding these keys in my hand, I'm telling you, you can get anything from God. And I want to thank people like Bishop John Francis, who encouraged me. Uh, so many of my friends, men and women of God, who encouraged me personally. Bishop John said to me, you don't need money. You just need a word from God. And that was a true word. Um, I didn't have the money. We didn't have the money for this building. God miraculously provided it. I want to thank the people that have helped us along the way. People like my sister-in-law, Jean. Those, all the members of, of House of Victory Church, the ministers, Derek, the team, Sandra, Robert, for standing with us, um, um, uh, Ricky and Liz and, and, and everybody else, Dez and, and Jenny, all the ministers, JJ, all of you, all the ministers, the, the new people that have come along, Maeve and, uh, uh, and, and so many other people that have come up and really stood with us, the people that tithe and gave sacrificially in our church, the, um, uh, Rebecca, so on and so forth. There's so many. I can't name them all, but I just want to say thank you to everyone who stood with us. God bless you. And especially those who have helped us to buy a seat. We put a thing on our site. If You, you can still help if you haven't done it yet. A seat for a soul is £15 for a seat. And I really be a blessing to House of Victory and buy us a seat or buy yourself a seat and then come and join us for a service. God bless you. I got the keys. God is a miracle working God. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. So be encouraged today because God is real. Listen, impossible for man, but possible for God. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord with me, somebody. Oh, our God is good. Oh, hallelujah. Bye.